Good morning. <clears throat> it's Monday morning here in Houston, Texas. My voice is, is a little gravelly this morning. Singing too loud. Plus that, my allergies, I think. Um, so, a lot of things are coming together. Like, the, there's been an acceleration in my understanding. Um, it's, it's on the ver verge of over overwhelming. Um, but something that happened, I had a dream. And it was just, to me, it was amusing. <clears throat> until uh, I talked to uh, Deacon Rudy. Because he was in my dream. And I was teaching him field craft. And to me, it was just, like, just amusing. But he's just like, oh, yeah, t tell me something on that. I, wa I want to, you know. So I'm like, okay. So we were in, we were on a stocking field. So what is that? It could be just a hay field or just an open area, right? Where there's, it's more open than there is trees, but there are trees and bushes and whatever, okay? And uh, I was showing him and we had some observers Three guys sitting at a table with binoculars scrutinizing that open area. 2,000 meters. Two clicks. Which is significant distance. distance. It's almost a mile and a half. And I was showing Pastor Rudy about the dead space. So I was kind of getting him to understand that, see, there's certain things. Like there's there's contours, there's there's high areas and low areas, and uh, there's bushes and trees, and there's deep grass. Okay, and so I was explaining to him how <clears throat> you can get up on those observers because you got to get within like 200 yards before you can take your shot if you're a sniper okay and uh, and I was explaining to him how if you get you know do you know where they are you line up a contour but a hill a mound between you and them you can you can get up higher and move faster and cover more ground okay while you're getting up on them and they can't see you and then I was explaining to him how <clears throat> you can use a um, you can line up a bush in front of you in a bush or a tree behind you and you can come up real slow behind that first bush and even if they do see you they can't determine where you are between those two bushes, there's, there's, they, they can't judge the depth perception with their binoculars doing that. Isn't that neat trick? And then, when you get within the distance you can make your shot, you take all the grass in front of you and you stand it up, right? And then you push yourself backwards, knocking down all the grass between that little fence, that little screen, that you set up and uh, then um, and so you're clear between yourself and that grass your scope will burn through that grass but when they're looking back at you in their binoculars they can't see past that grass. They're <laughs> okay, so you can take your shot and they won't see your muzzle flash. That's what you do that for. <laughs> okay, so I'm not thinking anything about the symbolism until Pastor Rudy gets me all excited about that. So it's all that dead space is a, is our veils they're veils from the observers 
okay? Uh, <laughs> the... Isn't that something? Right? They can't see you coming up on them if you learn how to use that dead space, use that natural cover and concealment to gain ground and get closer to them until the point where you can actually take them out and not get caught all right but all that rep all that is representation of veils isn't that something <laughs> those things that are are taking up all your focus okay they're there there's a threat to you there's whatever physical or financial emotional threats Okay, that you can't, you can't see past, right? It can be used to for the demons to get closer to you. Isn't that something? <laughs> Isn't that something? And uh, it's just really interesting, I found out that... Uh, Demons can't do anything to you if you don't let them. Yeah, there's some people need to hear that. <clears throat> okay? You call on the name of Jesus. Okay? And especially when you start really understanding the, the secrets. What is that? You really start to understand the symbolism. And when you understand the original text in Hebrew all right it will open up the understanding for you greater the true intention of the writing in Hebrew it's like a whole different story if you don't know it that's a cover that's a veil all right, hope that helps you understand. Have a great day.